Hello everyone and welcome to 4D Makers project videos. In this video, we will build a simple metal detector project using the Smart Everything development board combined with the Gen 4 HMI display. This metal detector uses the onboard 3D magnetometer to detect disturbances on the magnetic field. Theoretically, magnetometers can only detect ferrous materials. The smaller the iron content on an object, the lesser strength it detects. To build this project, we will need the following. For the systems Gen 4 ULCD 24DT, a 240x320 pixel resistive touch display module, Arrow Smart Everything Fox development board, 4D Arduino adapter board, a simple Arduino shield designed to provide a convenient interface to attach 4D systems display modules to the Arduino platform, 4D systems Gen 4 IB, a programming adapter for the Gen 4 intelligent display modules, FFC cable or flat flex cable connector to connect the programming adapter to the display module, 5 way cable, and a 5 volt external power supply. To program the Gen 4 HMI display, we will need 4D programming cable, it is a USB to serial TTL UART converter cable, or you can use the 4D systems UUSB PA5 with mini USB cable. The micro USB PA5 is a USB to serial TTL UART bridge converter, which is simple, cost effective, very small, and easy to use. You can visit our website for the complete code for this project. Once you have the zip project, extract the project to the destination folder you prefer and launch the Workshop 4 IDE and click open and navigate to that folder. First, load the VC Genie project to your Gen 4 display. Open the file md.4dgenie and load the code to the display. Then load the graphics onto the micro SD card. Next, open the mdv1.ino in your Arduino IDE and load them to the Smart Everything development board. First, we initialize libraries, variables, and constants. Then, on our setup code, we initialize the I2C communications, serial USB communications, and Genie Arduino communications. Hardware initializations for the magnetometer and the LCD reset routine is also performed here. The next part of the code is where we sample data from the magnetometer. The data will then be sent to the serial USB communications or the serial terminal of the Arduino IDE. Finally, we detect nearby metallic objects or materials if the X, Y, or Z readings increased rapidly more than 400 units. The bigger the ferrous object is, the easier it would be detected. Note that the object should be placed near the magnetometer sensor or the LSM 9D S1 module sensor to provide accurate results. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos, please visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.